Not only were Led Zeppelin geniuses, but they were also Lord of the Rings nerds. No kidding. On the song Ramble On, one of the verses later on says, In the darkest depths of Mordor, I met a girl so fair, but Gollum and the evil one crept up and slipped away with her. Isn't that crazy? Anyway, check out the beginning of Ramble On. Rivers Cuomo of Weezer has been sometimes called a god. I don't know if I'd go that far, but I'd definitely call him a genius. One of my favorite intros of his is from Undone, the sweater song. He starts with a G minor 6 chord, and then a C7 chord, and then a D7 chord, and then back to the C7 chord, but the whole time he keeps repeating the pedal tone B. Joe Walsh is not only the coolest member of the Eagles ever, he also is a riff-making genius. The intro to Life in the Fast Lane started off as one of Walsh's finger exercises, and then he turned it into a mega hit for the Eagles. <laughs> Rivers Cuomo, aka God, wrote a really cool intro for Island in the Sun. He uses basic triads on just the first three strings of the guitar to get his point across, and it just is so cool. He starts with basically a D minor shape, but he plays it up here at the third, fourth, and fifth fret, which makes it an E minor chord. And then he does like this little triple stop A minor chord basically and then he does a D shape down in the D position then finally he does what you would do on these three strings if you were playing an E chord but up at the third and fourth fret The members of Radiohead are musical geniuses who collaborated on some of the most amazing alternative rock ever. And in 1992, when they released their first hit, Creep, it took the world by storm. One of the things I particularly like about this song is the subtle use of chorus and tremolo on the guitar during the verse section. <laughs> Dave Matthews is a genius when it comes to chord colorations. In the song Crash Into Me, harmonically speaking, it's just C sharp minor seven, A sus two or A add nine, and E. And then they repeat. You know, that's kind of boring, so this is what Dave Matthews did. Green Day could be some pretty brilliant genius musicians when they wanted to be. One of my favorite riffs to teach students is the beginning of Wake Me Up When September Ends. It's simple, yet it portrays such emotional depth. Not only is David Grohl an ingenious drummer, which he showed time and time again during his Nirvana days, but he's also a brilliant songwriter. My favorite of his has got to be the acoustic version of Everlong, which came out two years after the original hard rock version. To play the intro, you have to tune the E string down to a D. Alright, you knew this was coming. Queen, geniuses. The song We Are the Champions is normally played on the piano, but what if you don't play the piano and you want to play it on the guitar? Well, here's a little section of the beginning. I've paid my dues time after time. I've done my sentence but committed no crime and bad mistakes. I've made a few I've had my sheriff's hand kicked in my face But I came through 
I absolutely adore Tracy Chapman. When it comes to evoking deep emotions inside someone with really powerful music and lyrics, she is definitely without a doubt a genius. One of my favorites is her intro to Fast Car. Check it out. I know you don't need me to tell you that Jimmy Page is a genius. On the song Cashmere, he could have just used the standard guitar tuning, and it would have sounded pretty cool. But he wanted a fuller sound, so he tuned it to what we guitar players call dadgat. Just a second. Walsh and Don Felder reached the pinnacle of ingenious guitar playing on Hotel California. One of my favorite things that they did were the fills that they threw in right after Don Henley would say, Hotel California. Here's the first one Joe Walsh did. The Hotel California. Here's the second one. The Hotel California. And then there's Don Felder's. The Hotel California. The Hotel California! <laughs> <laughs> 